What up, bitches? Look at her in the background. <laughs> it's your girl, Jimmy Fly. And I know that I haven't been posting YouTube vlogs or beat jags on the regular like I normally would. But it's due to my pregnancy. And i just been, like, just going through the motions. Trying to make it through my pregnancy. Trying to be a new mom still to Kaija. Trying to be a new wife to my husband. Y'all know that I have my one year wedding anniversary on May 27th. My daughter just turned one on June 17th. And I am delivering baby number two in 27 days. So my life has just been like really hectic and really different. And I'm still really just adjusting. So I do apologize for not being on here like I oh. normally would. What do you want? <laughs> so anyway, this particular vlog is going to be a delivery, birthing story on Akaja's birth. Because I never... <laughs> Because I never, <laughs> I never did one. I never like really got into details about um, when I delivered her. If you follow me on Snapchat, then you know I probably like post about it just a little bit, but not really much. I did post about it on Snapchat when I gave birth to her, but I didn't really talk about it since then. So here we go. As you guys know, I carried a Kaija full term. Um, I call her my rainbow baby because before her, I did have two miscarriages. She was due on June 16th, um, but she didn't come on June 16th. I... Wait, my mind is real. <laughs> my cervix never dilated and my water never broke. So on the night of June 16th at midnight... Um, my doctor checked me and my husband into the hospital to induce labor. So they gave me all that medication or whatever it is that they give you. I can't think of the names right now, sorry, that they give you to induce labor. And the contractions started. <laughs> and that was some painful shit. Those contractions was crazy, ridiculous. The worst thing that I ever felt in my life. And if you are a mom, um, then you know that you cannot get any type of like drugs or whatever, pain medication, until your cervix has dilated three centimeters. So like I said, I'm in there, I'm going through the motions. Four hours that went by, six hours that went by, eight hours that went by. Are you okay? She just dropped off the bed. <laughs> She's still eating them fruit loose, child. Them hours was going by, and I really felt like I was going to die. And every time the nurses came in the room, I'm like, can I get some drugs? They checking my cervix, which, mind you, is like the most uncomfortable shit that you can ever feel, to me, anyway. Like, I don't like nobody pushing their hand up in my vagina. It was, it was just crazy. But my cervix was just not dilating. So I had to just keep going through that shit sober and it was just like oh my god so long story short i labored for 16 hours straight um with nothing happening and i started getting worked up my daughter's heart rate started to drop they were scared for her that something was going to happen to her and she wasn't going to make it so they called in my doctor and we did an emergency c-section on june 17th so <clears throat> they pulled out my daughter i was like really medicated by that time because they give you like i think it's called like a spinal tap or something they give you a shot in your back and they gave me some drugs some morphine and stuff i was like hiding yeah. in the kite and i was happy <laughs> My husband didn't know you wasn't supposed to videotape, that you're only supposed to take pictures. <laughs> so he rolled video all the way up until um, him cutting the umbilical cord. And the nurse was like, what are you doing? You're not supposed to be videotaping or whatever. You're supposed to be just taking pictures. But during my C-section, um, I was awake, of course. You're alert and um, you're just numb from like 
the body down or whatever. Mm -hmm. But you feel a slight tugging and pulling. Not nothing painful, but you know that something's going on down there. When they first pulled Akaja out, she wasn't making no noise. So I was like high yeah. and wondering what's going on. Yeah. And asking the doctor, like, what's going on? Is everything okay? And then she started crying. And then I started freaking out. I'm like, why is she crying? Is everything okay? Then all I remember is waking up in my hospital room. My husband said I had been out of it for a while. To me, it felt like I had got to hold her as, as soon as she came out. But I don't know because, like I said, I was booted and zooted on that morphine child. But that's what happened. And... um it was scary having to have a C-section, but honestly, after I labored like that for 16 hours with no medication, all I could think to myself is, if this is painful, it's going to hurt like fuck trying to push this baby out of my vagina, <laughs> and I just ain't built for that. <laughs> Kudos to all the bitches out there who have natural vaginal deliveries but i just don't think that i could do it and not to say that having a c-section is easy because it is definitely not the easy way out recovery from c-section was crazy thank god that i had my mom and my husband to help me could you stop <laughs> I just had a lot of support, so I was happy about that. And, um, yeah, I had to get staples for the C-section um, to heal up. I'm not sure if all women do that. Some women say they don't get staples, but I had staples. And they took my staples out before I left the hospital and put tape on. And um, it was just really painful like they get they, they make you start walking well my doctor does he has you on a special diet and he makes you get up and start walking that same evening up and down the halls um of the maternity ward and it was just it was crazy <laughs> and that first bowel movement i'm sorry if i'm being nasty grossing y'all out but that first bowel movement you feel like everything inside you was about to come out child it was just it was painful, but it was also the most amazing thing that I've ever done in my life. And I'm going to do it again in 27 days. Stop before you jump off the bed. Crazy. What are you, in the circus? But, yeah. So, I just wanted to tell you guys that about Akaja. But she's one. Well, now she's 13 months. She turned 13 months on July 17th. When this baby is delivered, she will be 14 months on that day. Um, bless you. I'm due on August 23rd, but because I'm having another C-section, my doctor scheduled my C-section for August 17th. So, I have a new baby on August 17th, and my number one, baby number one, will be 14 months on August 17th. So, it's just like a lot going on. But I promise, I promise, I promise, I will keep you guys posted. And um, in a couple of days, I'll be back with a gender reveal for the new baby. Um, some shots of my belly, because I know you guys want to see it. And a name reveal for the new baby. So, you guys just bear with me. Don't unsubscribe to my channel. Don't unfollow me on Instagram. <laughs> Don't feel like I just drifted off into the abyss, because I have it. I'm here. And I love you guys. And thank you for all the love and the support and the comments and the messages and the gifts that you guys sent me off of my baby registry. I just love and appreciate you guys so much. And that is it. Stay tuned for the delivery footage. <laughs> Do bitches. <laughs> there she goes. Oh, I'm going Yeah, I think she wants to go back. <laughs> oh, there you go. She's beautiful. <laughs> 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 
Video because you're not allowed to record. Oh. 